The northern lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, appear in a clear night sky as swirling rivers of mostly greenish-blue light. Their movement almost seems to be like an unpredictable dance, at sometimes barely perceptible, then suddenly growing vivid and strong. Best chances of seeing them are in the northern parts of the northern hemisphere where the field lines of the Earth's magnetic field run. So places like Scandinavia, Iceland or Canada would be a good option. But how do they actually work and why do they appear in such a beautiful way? Well, in somewhat easy words, they can be explained like this. The Aurora Borealis is an interaction of the solar winds with the Earth's magnetic field. The solar wind consists of charged particles, protons with positive energy and electrons with negative energy. They are discharged from the Sun at a high speed of about 400 km per second, which is necessary to create the northern lights. Collectively, all the charged particles are called plasma, which is eventually captured by the Earth's magnetic field and then drawn towards the poles. Actually, our planet's magnetic field forms an invisible shield that protects us from the solar wind, but from time to time the solar wind gets stronger and penetrates the Earth's magnetic field. The phenomenon of the northern lights then ultimately occur when the particles from the sun collide with atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere, specifically the ionosphere, transforming kinetic energy into visible light. In this process, the particle rubs off some of its energy to the atom, so to speak, but still has enough energy to continue moving, although this time at a fractionally smaller speed. The closer they will get to the Earth, the more atoms are in the atmosphere. So the particle collides with more and more atoms, transmitting some of its energy to each and gradually traveling more slowly, finally coming to a stop at around 100 km above the Earth. Every atom in our atmosphere that has collided with the charged particles now has a surplus of energy and when this energy is released again, the northern lights appear. So as a summary, you basically need the following factors in order to create an aurora. Firstly, you need a planet. The planet must have a magnetic field in order to attract the charged particles and there must also be an atmosphere. No atmosphere means no atoms and therefore no screen on which the aurora is projected on. Secondly, there needs to be a source of energy that can charge particles on the one hand and also can transfer them to the planet with a high speed. In our case, this is obviously the sun with the solar winds. And now to round out the video, there's actually an identical phenomenon in the southern hemisphere, which is also called Aurora Australis. These southern lights are usually not as frequent as the northern lights, but still equally as fascinating. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and got something out of it. If you did, a click on the like button would be very much appreciated. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. It is absolutely free and only takes one click. Anyway, take care of yourselves and have an amazing rest of your day.